producers, songwriters, artists, creatives, all of y'all, you're using this TikTok system, this TikTok platform to make money as creatives, right? But you're trying to point them outside of the platform. What we're going to talk about today is how you utilize the platform and monetize within in order to pull the money out, okay? With that being said, I understand that a lot of you all will think that, well, maybe this is not worth it. Maybe I don't need to do this because I don't see I don't see the benefit or the profit beyond getting more eyeballs on my creativity. And though that may be great, it's not making me the money that I want to see. Well, just hold your horses a bit because a lot of creatives in the music game always underutilize their social media pages. And even though this is about TikTok today, this can go for any social media platform out there. And that's what we're going to hop into right here on the Music Money Makeover Show. Hey, Music Money Makers, welcome back to the Music Money Makeover Show. My name is Casey Graham. And let me tell you this, I've been where you are and I understand how it feels to say, hey, man, I feel like all this that I'm doing is for nothing. But I can, I can rest assure you that doing this on YouTube works. Doing it on TikTok and Instagram, it works. And the money that you get comes in handy. But it's not just about that. It's about pulling the leverage out of the platform itself. So let's hop in. All right, Music Money Makers. So we got to pour this content in. And let me remind you that every penny counts in the beginning. And I don't know what this looks like. It looks like some pennies he's pouring in. Whatever. It's not pennies. It's probably berries. Point is, the content has to go into the system and every penny counts in the beginning. So I know it may seem like it's going to be small when I get to it, but just hold your horses. So you got to be happy pouring content in in the beginning because it's going to help you get to the goal that you envision so many years down the line. All right. Now, here's our creator fund royalty. TikTok is going to pay you around 0.02 cents and 0.04 cents for every 1000 views. So that's kind of like four zeros behind the, the dollar, you know, you know, so it's not it's it's not a lot. I know it looks like a little bit, but just just bear the brunt of this thing with me. It's, it's going to be cool. OK, we do get paid a lot more over here at YouTube, but it's, it's just it's just TikTok. It's a different platform. Now, that was for the creator fund to create the video for them and getting paid from TikTok. Now we got to talk about the music money that you get from TikTok. Now, you might have a distributor like Symphonic over here, and they're going to give you a master royalty, an average. This is an average royalty. I'm not saying this is exactly what they give you, but it's an average royalty per video made using your music, a master royalty of 0 0.003 cents. OK, and that's what you're going to get on the master. Now, on the publishing side, you're going to get 0 0.0009 cents per video made using your music through music reports. All right. You all notice if you have my 60 day record label, you know how to get the money already. All right. And through BMI and ASCAP, this is how much they're going to pay you right here per video made using your music as a performance royalty. So you will get this money. OK, that's your music money. OK, now maximum money per video as a musician. This is what it looks like. I'm going to add in. Let's just say one for one video. You can you can have three cent or whatever this is. I don't even know what how many that's I don't even know how many millions that is anyway. This is the total, 0 0.00483, okay? Here's our music total if we take off the creator fund amount and we just add in the master, the mechanical, and the performance royalty. We end up with almost half of one Indian red cent. Now, with that being said, we got this half a cent right here. And you may say, man, look, people are making videos with my music and I'm only getting half a penny. And on top of that, I don't even own a hundred percent of it. I'm splitting this with somebody. Look, all these pennies add up. Remember I told you that in the beginning, it's the same thing as you starting out on Spotify. Don't forget all of my avid viewers. Music is the lost leader. So don't trip the pennies add up. So don't just say, I'm not going to do it. Don't say I'm not going to do YouTube. I'm not going to do all this free stuff, man. Dean, pay me. Okay. All right. You're going to be like Snoop talking about, we're going to start our own streaming service and then end up putting the music right back on streaming services. Like, come on, man. The, 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 the consumer ain't going for that. The consumer doesn't care about creatives. They just want to consume what you create. And if you can't satisfy them, they will go somewhere else. Okay. So one half of one Indian red cent over here. Don't even look like an Indian, but whatever. All right, now leverage sponsorship money. Here's where things start to get good. $200 to $1,000 per post average price under 10K. Okay, or about 100K and over. 
It just depends on what that 100K looks like and how engaged the audience is will determine if you can make it to this $1,000 price range. And you might have to have way more than 100K. But it depends on what you're selling and what you're getting from your sponsor, okay, and how they want you to present the product. With that being said, that's one side. Now, here's the other side. $50 plus per piece of merch that your fans want. I will tell you this. My, my YouTube checks... Hey, all right, you know, it's just, you know, it's a lot more than gas money. I can tell you that YouTube checks is sitting nice, but the product checks, this right here, this product check right here is what makes the whole operation go. And I'm quite sure a lot of you all create uh, creatives out there. Understand this. You understand that if you have merchandise, the merchandise will move. But the merchandise must solve a solution for the fan. And that solution for the fan is feeling like I'm part of your cool club. And I got to look dope in what I'm representing your cool club as. You understand what I'm saying? Once you solve that solution, they're going to buy what it is you have. And that's just what it is. So product makes sense. So we just pulled all of this money out of the TikTok ecosystem. Okay. Now. Every new follower will consistently watch for up to five days and then fall off. So you, whatever you're doing on TikTok has to be so potent that they follow and almost immediately want to go either listen or get what you have, period. So for me, when I see you all on Instagram and TikTok, because they're both kind of like the same thing, right? When I see you all, if the content don't hit me immediately, I'm not clicking through to Spotify. So you got to think about that, creatives. All my creators out there, if the content ain't hidden, and then the next thing I want to do is go find you on Spotify so I can go listen to your music because I'm a music lover, I'm an early adopter, that content got to hit me first. It, it, it would have had to hit me there for me to go check it out. Once I check it out and I decide, hey, I want to continue to listen to more of this, you have done your job with that piece of content and it, I convert it and translate it over. The next thing you got to do is to get me to buy something. When I buy it, I got to feel like I look cool and I'm a part of your cool club. Therefore, I'm going to rep it. So if your merch is whack, you lost a buyer. All this has to happen really, really fast. TikTok, you got five days. Instagram is a little bit different because their, their recommended stream is a, a lot softer on the creative than TikTok. TikTok is like, hey, you better get in right now. It's like the mainstream going 100 miles an hour. All right. Now, who is eligible? This is what TikTok is saying. Creators who meet the following criteria are eligible to apply for the creator fund. Are based in the U.S., U.K., France, Germany, Spain, or Italy. Are at least 18 years old. Have at least 10,000 followers. Have at least 100,000 video views in the last 30 days. Have an account that fits with our TikTok community guidelines in terms of service. Okay. Now, is this even worth it? Okay, so the creator fund, yes. Every little bit helps as you begin to build these pennies up fast. The music, yes, it's worth it. You better do that because that's in the 60-day record label course down here. You better take care of your music. The sponsorship, absolutely. And the product, you bet. Now, worrying about the creator fund in the beginning, ah. Eh, eh, I mean, it, they can add. If you see yourself... Getting big on TikTok really fast or people are just gravitating towards you, do it. Go ahead and do it. Get paid for it anyway. In the beginning, it's like, eh, I mean, you know, you're going to start making more money on your own product before you make money on TikTok. But, you know, you get around 100,000 followers on TikTok and you're getting these, these thousands of views. Go ahead and apply for it because it's going to add up, man. You know what I mean? First, it's going to look like an extra tank of gas. And then it's going to look like, oh, this is a bill. And then it's going to look like, oh, this is almost rent. You know what I mean? So whatever your rent is, it can be that. So now I don't want to feel like I'm a slave to it. I understand this. I understand where you're coming from. You won't, especially when you're going to use it to put away, to put your content on it anyway. It all depends on how you want to use that platform. All right. So always share what you want and don't compete with others. Just improve your quality. You get what I'm saying? Because you won't be a slave to it if you look at it from that angle. If you utilize it for what you want to do with it and how you want to do it. 
right? You take this ball and chain off and it's, this is you walking into the bank. And you look like this, not because of the creator fund, but because of the product that you sold using the attention of TikTok. Like if you join my 60 day record label course, then you're going to really be able to build the processes to walk in the bank like this with all this money. Cause don't walk in there with that bag of money with a personal bank account. All right. So the 60 day record label is out now. Please grab it. It is going for the low, low price of 275. And that is the introductory price. I don't plan to put this thing on sale. Okay. And I'm planning to update this consistently so that there will be way, 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 way more videos in there with much more value than the YouTube page. That's going to help you get from point A to point G, E, F, L, M, N, O, P, all of that. Okay. Or you can get in for 55 bucks a month for five months. It's a very cheap introductory rate. I don't know how long this rate is going to last. Get in now on these early crack prices. Okay. But if it's still too much for you to do, you always have the 60 day record label book. I put my foot in this book for you to get your structure set up right in the beginning. Many of you all are just now coming out of this from the winter months. All right. And you're ready to do your thing for the spring. My hat's off to you. And I congratulate, uh, uh, congratulate you on getting that done. All right. Now, if you finish that, you are overdue for a call with me. So let's get a strategy together for where you need to go so you can be on the right track and you don't get lost in this game out here. Okay. At the end of the day, the whole goal is to take the leverage from TikTok. The ecosystem is what it is by itself. We want to take the leverage from TikTok and we want to make that work for us on our own product. It's clear as day. You see people do it all the time. It's not going to make sense until you do it yourself. But in order to do it yourself, like I said, there's processes that you have to have set up. Now, if you keep making content and you don't get in the creator fund or you don't register the music properly in order to get the royalties that come from the music on the back end, it's going to be it's not going to be all for nothing. But it's like you're going to be wasting a lot more time in the beginning when those pennies can not really add up. OK, so you need all that stuff. All these pennies add up just like your Spotify royalties. Right. Music money makers. So if you make music, you should always make money. Download the 60 day record label. Join the course. Book a call on musicmoneymakeover.com and I'll see you next time. Peace.